Welcome back to Barbershop News. I just want to shout out all of our listeners. Shout out everybody that follows us on Instagram. Shout out everybody that has taken time to visit our website and left a comment or subscribed or shared anything that we did. Want to give everybody a shout out and we're going to jump right into it. So this weekend we heard that somebody in Memphis was driving around and they're committing crimes live on Facebook. We're trying to figure out this trend, this trend of social media. Is it driving people crazy or is it bringing out the craziness out of them? So is it driving them to act this way or is it something that is bringing out of them? That is the question that we're simply trying to get to the bottom of because to me, I don't understand how these people could feel like you could do something like that and not get caught or worse. In situations like that, we like to take a minute and try to understand like, why does everybody feel like social media is real? Like it's not real. It's real in the sense of you got to be careful how you portray yourself, how you move. But in the end, social media is not real because your followers do not equal to money. Your followers do not equal to common sense. Your followers do not equal to knowledge. So we're still trying to figure out what. why can't people differentiate the two? Like, why does there seem to be this problem and this disconnect with the reality when it comes to social media? It doesn't make any sense. But then and again, maybe it's because we come from a different era where social media was like a, a figment of our imagination. Like in the sense of, you know, people had fright to go outside. You had to go outside and actually mingle and meet people and, you know what I mean, interact. Now these kids are on social media. Right out of high school, they're leaving with a thousand people in their phone. I think that they it's a sense of it's a sense of false perception. I think that they need to start focusing the attention on people staying away from their computers that, as often as they are right now. Because I do feel like it has a big part in driving these kids nuts like basically these kids are being raised by social media if a, if a three-year-old doesn't know how to use an ipad right now they probably tell they probably say that he's, he's not intellectual because at the same time it's like every one two three-year-old has ipad glued to their hands so when they turn to like 19 i'm saying to myself like yo i don't understand if the, yeah these kids were raised with social media 19 years old if social media came out, say, like, when they were 8 or 9, by the time they were 12, 13, social media was like their babysitter. So, with this kid in Memphis now driving around shooting people, right, I'm trying to figure out deep down in his mind, did he think that, like, he was going to respawn, like, this is a video game? What do you think? He's going to go get bail? Four dead, three injured? Come on, bro. For what reason? 19 years old, you just do away your whole entire life, bro. I don't even feel like you're worthy of us even calling your name because at this point right now, I don't see people doing doing stuff like that without needing a psychiatric evaluation. And that's another thing right now where everybody's claiming this mental health, mental health, mental health. So that's another reason as well why everybody's getting away with this shit because once they claim mental health, it becomes a whole different ballgame. They get less time. They go to facilities instead of prison. And I wish jail on nobody. But when you do senseless shit like that, I don't know. I don't even know where you belong. But he's going to have to answer for that shit. And everybody has their day. You know what I'm saying? And for doing something like that, I don't I don't see no 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 coming back at all. 